If you are using Microsoft OneNote, then let me introduce you to Tag. No, not those kinds of tags, but the kind of tags that help you to find things and stay organized when using your OneNote notebook. Tags allow you to create customized search criteria and add that to all the other great organizational and search tools in the program, and you can pretty much find and make sense of everything in your notebook. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create and use tags and, oh yes, we'll be customizing. So if you have too much stuff in too many places, then let me introduce you to tags in Microsoft OneNote Notebook. To use a tag, I just have to find an area in my notebook that I'd like to mark. I can then click and then move to the tags section of the home tab. When I click the small dropdown, it gives me a list of tags to choose from, and I can just select the one that works for me. In this case, important. This adds that tag star to the entry. And if I need to find the entry later from this or any other notebook, I can just move to the search on my left hand side type in the name of the tag or select it from a list of tags in the notebook that is presented at the bottom of the list. In this case, I'll type in the name of the tag. So, and when I press enter, it will find all of my important tags, including the entry that I just created. If I click that entry, it takes me to that notebook, to that page and directly to the tagged entry. I can also use custom tags and I can do that by going to the tags group again and clicking the small drop down or combo button and then from the bottom of that list create a new custom tag. When I select that a list of all the tags available in the program is presented on the right hand side and I can just choose the icon that I'd like to use for my custom tag. In this case since this is a contact I'm going to choose a small head that means contacts. When I select it, the icon shows as being selected and I can just name the tag anything that I'd wish. In this case, I'll call it contacts. When I click the create button here at the bottom, this creates a custom tag for me in OneNote and I can use my tag just by marking my entry and then moving to the tag section and then selecting my custom tag from the bottom of my list. And like the previous tags, I can find them by just moving to the search window, choosing from a list of available tags, or I can type in the name of my tag. And when I press enter, it now shows the tags that I have that are named contacts. In this case, only one. And when I click it, it takes me to the notebook, to that page, and directly to that entry. To remove a custom tag or manage your tags, you can just move back to the tags section, click the small drop down, and then at the bottom of the list, you'll see delete custom tag. And when you click it, it will show a list of all of the custom tags that you created in the program. And to delete that tag, you just click it from the list. You'll receive a confirmation and when you click yes, the custom tag is removed from your list, although it is still available next to the entry. You can also see a list of all tags that are used in the notebook by once again moving to the tags section, clicking the drop down and then selecting used in this notebook. And when you click it, a list of all of your custom tags will show at the top of the screen. So pretty painless and kind of fun, huh? I think you'll find using tags to be another great way to organize and find things that you have stored in your OneNote notebooks. Until our next video, thanks for joining me. Good luck searching. And I'm Wayne. Now, if I can just find my car keys.